Hey, my Tea Party Squad and planner friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna be refreshing my social media planner for the mid-year coming up. This planner is going to continue to stay in my mid-year lineup, but I wanted to kind of pull some things out that didn't work for me um, from January up until now. Um, so there are some things in here that I originally had planned to do and use, but I have not. So I wanna pull some of those things out, make some room for some new things, and also add in um, some other things as well. Um, I'm thinking about also kind of refreshing this by removing the planner um, covers and all that and maybe refreshing that as well. But for the most part, my social media is going to continue to stay in my lineup for 2021. But I want to just refresh it up a little bit. So, so if you want to see how I'm going to be refreshing my social media planner for the mid-year, then stick around. All right, so before I dive into my planner and start removing things and disassembling this planner, um, I just wanted to do a quick flip through and just kind of talk to you about some of the things that are in here that did not work for me and that I'm going to be removing. And then I'll go into some other things as far as what I'm going to be using and adding to my social media planner. So here in the beginning, I do have my monthly overview, weekly um, overview, my inbox and brain dump and miscellaneous. Um, little section here and I love this because I overlaid this vellum paper that I printed from plan with B and I overlaid it with this beautiful cardstock um, principle that I also printed in, to act as the cover which I still love this cover but I think I'm going to go ahead and just remove it and just you know spruce it up a little bit I'm going to be removing this entire page which I have the 2021 overview as well I am going to be taking this out as well and i'm just going to put a title page of some sort in here i am going to be keeping my dividers in here um, so that i can have to split up my sections and i am going to update my 2021 goals because some of these goals i have not been doing so i do want to change that up and add some more goals to that um, i'm thinking about keeping this collab section but i may end up just taking this entire um, cardstock out that has a collab on there and just putting in a divider um, like this one, just kind of putting one of these dividers in between to separate them. Um, but for the most part, I've been using this quite a bit. I've been using the monthly section, the monthly um, inserts from the Happy Planner. And this is where I wanted to kind of keep up with my Instagram um, post and what I'm posting and like a schedule. And so I do have a few pages of that in the back that I'm going to keep that. And that's going to have its own little section. And then I also had my subscription and membership tracking in here that I need to update because I hadn't been doing that. And then I am going to keep um, most of these project goal sheets in here because I do want to write out my Instagram schedule or like my pre-planning schedule. So these came in handy when I wanted to like do some pre-planning in here. So I will definitely be keeping those in here. Um... I will be keeping my idea section. Again, I may end up just taking this section out or I may keep it in. I'm still um, playing with that idea of should I just keep these in here to just kind of break up my sections. But this idea section, I do have a video of me putting this together. And um, I am going to keep these um, video planner and checklist inserts from Fancy Plans Co. I absolutely love, love, love these um inserts and so i'm going to continue to add um, pages in here and fill these in but this is great for like pre-planning out your videos ahead of time and all that good stuff this video content ideas list as well came from fancy plans co and i absolutely love this i do need to update um some of the videos that i've been doing um since march i hadn't updated since march but i will go in and fill those in but i do have additional pages of these um in the back back here that i would definitely be keeping a track of all right in the next section I was keeping up with like my Instagram post planner um this was also a principle that I got from pretty pink planners co which uh, was a um, principle insert and I really hadn't been using it as much as I thought I would um so I don't think I'm going to continue to keep that in there so I actually will be taking that out um as well I did also use a principle um that I got that just to keep track of like uh, my orders 
and I really haven't been using this um, as much so um, I may end up taking this out I may end up taking this section out all right and so the next section is my plan section and this is where my um, plans are from January through July through June I'm sorry of 2021 is and so um, if you've been seeing my plan with me's in my social media planner um, you kind of got a chance to see all of my months my January through June um, plan with me's and so I've been keeping up with that back here and I've been loving this these um, inserts which is a um, this is actually a dashboard layout this is not the happy planner dashboard layout this is actually a principle or it actually came from my friend Pleasantly Plan. When she had her um, Shopify shop open, she also had some planners and she had the dashboard layout in here and it was a very neutral dashboard layout, which I absolutely loved. And I went ahead and got this and I got it for the entire year of 2021. So um, what I'm thinking about doing is continuing this out, finishing out um, her planner. For 2021 and then going forward in 2022 I'm thinking about just keeping in um, starting with the happy planner dashboard layout if they come out with a neutral dashboard but for now I do have a backup um, dashboard layout that I could use if I don't find one um, for 2022 that I can actually use going forward there and so I do have my um, dividers for July through December, which also came from my girl Pleasantly Plans shop. And so I just went ahead and kept those back here. So when I need to refresh it and add in the inserts going forward, I already have them here. And so that's what I'm going to do is go ahead and add in July through December inserts here from her shop, which I, um, which I actually have. All right, and so I have my July through December of 2021 still in the original pack um, when I got it from Pleasantly Plans Shop. And what I'll do is just separate them and place them behind the um, dividers that they go with. And before I do that, you may be wondering, when I take these out, how do I store my January through June um, inserts? And so I'm going to show you that. So before I start um, putting this and refreshing this, I'm going to show you some other things I'm going to be adding um, to my social media planner. All right. So once I remove my January through June of 2021 inserts from out of my social media planner, I'm actually going to place them inside of this. This actually holds all of my social media plans from July of 2020, and it's going to hold it until the end of 2021. So originally I was using the vertical planner last year as my social media planner. And I will also link that video somewhere in here or also down in my description box. But I was using a vertical planner for my social media planner and it didn't work for me. And so I fell in love with using the dashboard layout. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to just place everything in the back and move forward and then also start placing in my current months or the mid-year um, in my new planner. So that's why I'm going to be placing the rest of those inserts. All right. So as far as the cover, I'm thinking about switching out my social media planner cover and using this beautiful denim love yourself cover by the happy planner. This is a classic size dashboard layout planner by the happy planner. And I'm thinking about just kind of pulling the covers from here as well as pulling the title page and some of these perpetual calendar um, inserts out of here to place into my new social media planner for the mid-year. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, but going forward for 2022, I'm thinking about just going ahead and continuing this planner using the January 2022 going forward planner for next year um, if they do not come out with a neutral dashboard layout. All right, so I do want to use some of these inserts from the Happy Planner. This is actually the Productivity Extension Pack, and they have some daily sheets in here that I want to use, and I actually want to utilize this for my business section, and so I'll go into more details once I kind of put everything together, and you can see how it all comes together, but I'm thinking about putting in um, some of these sheets from the Happy Planner um, into my social media planner as well. 
All right, and so last but not least, I also want to add in this um, Afterpay tracker, which I'm going to be using as my order tracking um, to keep up with all of my orders that are coming in and all of that. And so I want to add this. This actually came from Fancy Plans Co. And I love, love using these. All right, so now it's time for me to give my social media planner a nice little refresh. And then once I'm done, I'm going to give you a nice fresh tour of my new mid-year social media planner. Right, you guys so I am done giving my social media planner a mid-year refresh I love the cover it says love yourself I love how it has like that denim type of vibe and also like some tie-dye little vibes in there too really really cute and so let's go ahead and check out the insides of it so again like I told you guys I changed out the covers I kept the original disc that I had on originally for the um, beginning of the year I did take out the cover page for this planner, which is a dashboard layout. Um, and I went ahead and add my name, you guys, Southern Tea Time. Yes, I made it official, put my name in there with some vinyl. And I did keep the um, 2021 and 2022 year overview in there. And then I also pulled out these perpetual calendars in here. These would be great for me to keep track of like Instagram posts or just video ideas that I come up with. I can write those in here. So that's what I'm thinking about using this section for. And I only pull out from July, 2021 through December of 2021. And then of course, this is going to start January of 2022. So when I do eventually transition to um, this planner, the original planner for this, I'll just add in the rest of these here and then the rest of this perpetual calendar to make it a complete planner. Um, I did leave in my 2021 goals. Um, I am going to give this a refresh as well. Um, I may end up adding some things. I'm going to keep these, but I'm going to add a little bit more in here. And then this is going to start my monthly section. This is my monthly section for, oh, I didn't even show y'all my, my little tabs. So my tab sections here, I want y'all to see that. I did put in the monthly section and I use these cute little um, stickers from Fancy Plans Co. I did use these little um, stickers here for the dividers. 
um, that says monthly projects calendar. Um, this was a little ins another dashboard that I used from Happy Planner. It says today. Um, I did put a bill section in here and a daily section. So you'll also get to see that as I flip through it. But I want to just kind of mention that. So my monthly section is going to be the monthly inserts from the Happy Planner. And this is where I'm going to kind of keep either a list of my Instagram posts or my Instagram schedule. Or what I'm thinking about doing is kind of keeping this as my pre-planning schedule for each month. Because I feel like my pre-planning schedule may change based on the month and what I have going on. So I'm thinking about keeping this. I may end up using this. Um, for my pre-planning -plan schedule, but I have enough in here for each month about six seven I think I added an extra one in there um, This next section is my projects section and I name it my projects and because I didn't have like an ideas little uh, sticker here to put at the top Sorry if it's not focusing guys. So there we go um, but this is going to be where I'm going to keep up with all of my weekly spread ideas. This has been very helpful for me. Right now, I am writing it in pencil just in case some things change. Um, and keeping up with like certain collabs that I have coming up. And just different things that come up and I like an idea may come up as far as what I want to do with the spread. I can write that down here and for the corresponding weeks that I want to do it for. So you guys probably will see that again. And then I did keep here my video content ideas section as well. I kept that back there. And then I also kept in my video planner um, and checklist back here as well. Because as I'm pre-planning my, my videos, I can already kind of notate certain things, write down what I want to mention so that I don't forget and just any other notes in here that I want to write. The next little dashboard section here is my calendar section. This is just going to be all of my months and I did um, keep this in here actually I can take this out because I did take out the other little covers so this is going to be my calendar section and I think I want to keep that in now because then I just have two little dashboards together so I'll keep this one in all right and so then we'll go on to the months here from June, I did decide to keep in June of 2021 because I do want to reference back to my June. So I'm not going to take that out just yet. Um, so I'm going to keep in June. So we have June of 2021. And then I also have July, August, September, October, November, and December of 2021. And I just wanted to show you guys how neutral this is. So I love her little overview of July section here because these are a lot of the categories that I actually will use for my currently section so i do like this like the top threes your goals important days extra expenses word of the month and any other notes in your to-do section and then in her planner is her monthly and she does put in like cute little um uh what is like like wacky holidays like this one says compliment your mirror day which i think is cute in the independence day and then this is how the planner looks for each week very neutral no colors just black and white and so if you have a specific color that you want to do you don't have to worry about you know that color block in there that's going to kind of take away from it so that's one of the reasons why i love her neutral dashboard layout all right so after that we move on to the back of the calendar i did put a little bills section here and that's just going to be like my order tracker or even some afterpays because sometimes I like to use afterpay it's bomb okay um but I will use this as like my order tracking um system as well and I will keep that back here and then behind my bill section or my order tracking section is going to be my daily section and I did put a little daily tab sticker there and this is where I'm going to keep up with all of my um business if you don't know I do have a lip gloss um, business that I actually was inspired by from my three daughters called Lip Gloss by 3LW. And originally in my 2021 um, planner lineup, I did have a separate planner for my business. And that did not work out for me because I realized that I wasn't doing things for my business every day. But I do want to still keep track of some things that I'm doing for the days that I do decide to do that. So I felt like the daily sheets here would be great for me for my business and then that way whenever i'm doing a specific thing for my business then i have just that day 
um, anything that I want to do as far as ordering certain things, I will place that in here and write down where I got it from. But posting, I will be trying to do that a little bit more often, just kind of showing new items for that. All right, and so behind here is just miscellaneous stuff where I just have some note pages if I want to write down some quick little notes or just some other stuff, just to have some extra happy note sheets in the back. And so that is my social media planner refresh. So, so I hope you enjoyed my social media planner refresh for this mid-year. If you are one of my new planner friends, I hope that you consider subscribing to my channel so you can see more videos from me. And I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.